Hey everyone, welcome back. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make a macrame keychain using this very popular diamond pattern. So what we're going to be doing to make this is we're going to be securing our string with a lark's head knot and then to make the diamond shapes we're going to be using the diagonal clove hitch knot and then in the center on this keychain I have square knots and I'm also going to show you two other options that you can use for the center of the keychain. So to get started what you need is some sort of keychain hook. I believe these are called swivel lobster clips. You can buy these at the craft store in single or double packs. And if you plan on making a lot of keychains, you can purchase these on Amazon in multi-packs. Now, since this doesn't fit on my hook, I just have a little D-ring here so that I can work on the wall. If you don't have somewhere to suspend this from the wall, you could use a clipboard. Just clip this under the hook at the top, or you could even just clip this to your pant leg if you're sitting on the couch watching TV. So to make this keychain, I am going to be using three pieces of rope. I am working with three millimeter single strand cotton rope. I have cut each string to about 46 inches, which is approximately 117 centimeters. All right, to get started, what you wanna do is fold your string in half and match up the loose ends. Then at the other side, you'll have the center and you'll have this loop. Then what you wanna do is take the loop, put it through your keychain, and then pull that down in the back. And then you're gonna take the loose ends you're gonna put those through the loop, and then you're gonna pull down and slide that knot up tight to the top. And this is what's called a lark's head knot. So we're gonna do the same thing with the other two strings. Line up the loose ends, find the center with the loop, put that through your key ring, Pull the loop down in the back, put your loose strands through that loop, and then pull tight to secure. And the reason I'm using three strings with this keychain is because that is all that will fit across this bar. Since I'm working with this swiveling keychain, I want you to be able to see what I'm doing. Clearly, I'm just gonna tape this to the wall. What we're gonna do is we're gonna start with the outermost right string. This is the string that's going to get knotted around as it makes its way toward the center on a diagonal. So you're gonna take the next string over toward the center and this is what's going to make the knots around this one. So what you need to do first is take it behind, then you're going to bring it around and in front, and now you have this loop here. So you're gonna pull the loose end through that loop, and here's where I find you can do one simple thing to make this knot easier. Pull down on that string that you just took through the loop, then slide the knot up to the top. So that's the first half, we're gonna do it again. So now this string that we're making the knots with is over on the side. So you're going to take it over in front then pull that loose, three, loose end behind and through, pull down, then tighten it up to the top and you can kind of tuck that back there. Okay, so that's our first one. So now we're gonna do it again with the next 
string toward the center. You're gonna take it behind, over and in front, behind and through the loop, pull down first, then slide up, and then repeat. Now it's over here, so it goes in front and over, behind and through the loop, pull down first, then tighten up. Okay, so now we've reached the center. We've used the three strands on the right. Now we're gonna do the same thing with the three strands on the left going in the opposite direction. So now you're taking your left outermost string. This is the one that you're going to knot around. You're gonna take the one next to it toward the center. It's going to come behind, then over and in front, then back behind and through the loop, then pull down on that string before you slide the knot to the top. Now repeat. Bring it over and in front, around behind, through that loop, pull down, and then tighten up to the top. Okay, and then you're gonna do it with the next string toward the center, over, Behind and through the loop, pull down, and then tighten, and again, over, behind and through the loop, pull down, and tighten. So now we have our two sides of our diamond, but we need to connect it in the center. And you can use either of these strands to continue knotting around. I always go with the right side just to be consistent. So I'm gonna pick up this string from the right side that I was making my knots around. And now this string from the left side that I was making my knots around is going to do the knotting. So it's coming over in front behind and through the loop, pull down and then tighten and do that two times. Okay, so that's the bottom of a diamond. So now what we're going to do is we're going to complete a full diamond. So I'm gonna continue on this diagonal with this string from the right side Take the next string over, working toward the left, in front, behind and through, two times. And then with the last string, make two clove hitch knots. And then that side is complete. So what we need to do now is we need to make the other side, okay? So you are taking the third string from the right. You can see it's lined up with this diagonal here. That's the one that the knots will go around. So then you're gonna take the next one over to the right. It's going to come over then behind and through the loop and pull tight two times. And then you're gonna take the last string over, behind and through two times. Okay, so that is the top of our diamond. What we need to do now is decide what we're going to do in the center. 
I'm going to show you a couple different options. So the first option is to do a square knot. To make the square knot, you're just going to be working with the four strings in the center. So you're going to take the rightmost string and you're going to cross that over the others. You're going to take the left outermost string and you're going to cross that behind the others. So now you have these two spaces on either side. The string that went over top is going to come back through this loop and the string that went behind is going to come up through its loop and then you pull that tight. That's the first half of a square knot. To complete the square knot, you will do the opposite. You can take the left most strand over, right strand behind, the one that goes behind comes up through, and the one that goes in front goes back through, and then you pull tight, and that's a square knot. So now what we'll do is we'll complete the diamond pattern. So we're going to take this right outermost string, and just like we did in the beginning, it's going to be knotted around coming toward the center. So take the next one toward the center, and you're going to make two clove hitch knots. Then this next one toward the center, two clove hitch knots. Then you'll do the other side, take the leftmost outer, And with the one next to it toward the center, make two clove hitch knots. And then the next one toward the center, two clove hitch knots. And then you need to complete this by connecting it at the center. So I always stay with the right to be consistent. And now I like to do two of these for each keychain. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just going to repeat the same thing, making another diamond. Okay, and then once you have completed the top two sides, you wanna do your center knot. I'm gonna do another square knot here. And then I'm going to do the bottom of my diamond. Okay, so once you have your pattern complete, we are going to do what's called a gathering knot to join our loose ends at the bottom. To make a gathering knot, you're going to need a piece of string that is at least 24 inches, which is about 61 centimeters. This is a great way to use up small leftover pieces. And I actually like to flip my keychain over and work from the back so that you don't see some of the fray that you're going to end up with. So to make a gathering knot, what you want to do is take one loose end and line it up parallel with your keychain, sticking up over the bottom of your design by an inch or two. So you're going to hold on to that with your thumb, and then you're going to make a loop with this string. So you're just going to go about halfway down and pull it up. Okay, so now with the rest of this remaining string, what you're going to do is you're going to start wrapping it around all the loose ends 
and you can wrap it as many times as you want. I usually do about five or six, depending on how long I want that not to be at the bottom. So you're just wrapping it around. And then when you're finished wrapping, you're gonna take the loose end and you're going to put it through the loop. And then you're gonna take the loose end at the top and you're gonna pull that up. That's gonna pull that loop and the other loose end inside of this gathering knot. Once you see that it's about at the center, you can tug on both ends to make it really tight. And then this string that's up at the top, you just want to trim that as close to your gathering knot as you can. You'll have a little fringe, that's why I do it on the back. And then if this other end is long enough, you can include it in the fringe at the bottom of your keychain. And I just choose a length for my fringe and just cut straight across. So that is your finished keychain. I'm going to show you a couple different options for your center knots so that you have some different style choices. Another option for the center of your diamond is to weave the four innermost strands. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take the center left string and I'm going to go over the one next to it on the right and then under the next one over on the right. Then I'm going to take the second string from the left and instead of going over the one next to it, I'm going to go under and then over. So you're just creating a little woven pattern in the center. So now what you have to do is sort of hold on to that woven pattern while you make your the rest of your triangle. So these are gonna, your strings are gonna shift into a different order. Another option you have for the center of your diamond is what's called a macadamia knot, a button knot, or a berry knot. Now this is going to require more knots, so you're going to need more string. So you're gonna to need to make these longer if you're gonna do the berry knot. I'm gonna use about 80 inches, which is about 203 centimeters. So what you're gonna do is you're going to be working with the center four strings again, and you're going to be making three square knots and you're going to leave a little bit of space at the top because we're going to be putting some string through these spaces here. So don't pull your knots tight. So you're gonna make three square knots just like we did a single square knot on that first one. Just repeat that three times. Once you have your three square knots, what you're gonna do is take the two rightmost strings from that center that you're working with, and you're going to put them through this space at the top on the right. And then just pull the loose ends back behind. Then do the same thing on the left. Take the two left strings, put them through the space at the top on the left, and pull the loose ends back. And you can see this is already curling those square knots into a little ball. So you can just kind of help fold it and then pull those back. That's your berry knot. The last thing you need to do is secure it by making another square knot at the bottom. So using those same four strings, you're going to make another square knot and this time you're going to pull it really tight at the bottom and it kind of hides behind that berry knot. And then all you need to do is finish this diamond and then you can make another berry knot 
in the center of your second diamond. So with the berry knot, I've also seen some macrame artists who just use these center strings to go behind and pull it through. So I'll show you how that works as another option. So you would take the center string on the right and put it through the space at the top on the right. Take the left center string, put it through the left space at the top. And then you would use just those two strings to pull your knot through. And then these ones on the side, you kind of take them down the side of the knot and then you make your square knot at the bottom and pull that real tight to secure it. So there's two different options. This one kind of sticks out a little bit more and the sides will look a little bit different depending on which option you choose. Thank you all for joining me today and learning how to make a macrame keychain with the diamond pattern. You've now got three options for making keychains. You've got square knot, you've got weaving, and you have the berry knot. You can also use this pattern in your wall hangings and your plant hangers or anything else you can come up with to macrame. Hope you enjoyed this video and that you will subscribe. Thank you.